Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to discuss why it is finally the time that these mobile phone mounts bit the dust. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so on today's video, we'll be taking a look at Joby's GorillaPod Mobile Mini. Now, there's a very good reason why I've purchased one of these, and it is essentially because of this. This, if you've not seen one before, is the kind of the longest running design I've ever seen for a mobile phone clamp. So we've probably all seen these at some point or other, whether it's in the local thrift store or bundled with a tripod, that kind of thing. They're very, very common. And to be honest with you, in the old days when we had our iPhone 4s and 5s, these were absolutely fine and you could stretch them in there. They'd fit in, you could attach it to your tripod and generally it was a-okay. The mounting was often a little bit off and didn't quite touch the side, so you're always a little bit unsure whether or not your phone was actually going to fall out of the mount. And depending which way around you had it, sometimes you'd have it so that the, the bars were like that, so you had your camera facing outward, and sometimes these padded bits would actually touch on the screen and start a recording, or be just in the place where you wanted to press the button to start recording, so they certainly weren't ideal. Also as well, they lack the ability to do portrait, which uh, yeah is obviously a limitation of the spring inside. These always filled me with fear whenever I put a phone into them, and quite often again, they would press on something because of the way they clamp on. It would clamp on maybe the shutter button, the volume rocker, the uh, sleep wake button, absolutely horrendous. And they would seem to be made from the cheapest plastic you could find on the planet. And also the spring tension as well was very uneven. At the beginning, it was very loose, and towards the end, you needed to be Herculean strength to actually use it. They did come with some nice options, so they did have a quarter-inch mount on the bottom, which made it so you could use it on a multiple different devices that supported that thread, so small tripods, big tripods, etc., etc. But I think, finally, the time has come for these things to go. As you can see, I've got on the desk a couple of examples of ones that I've tried in the past. So this is the kind of the real thrift store one, so we've got foam legs, and this is kind of copying the Gorillapod model, but the legs are pretty naff and they don't really twist and grip particularly well, and it's a pretty awful plastic construction. Even the actual threads themselves are kind of into a plastic mount. It's just very flimsy and, yeah. In an extreme fix, absolutely fine, but if you're going to be using it more than a couple of times or you've got an expensive phone that you've got mounted somewhere pre precarious, then, uh, yeah, as you can see, We've broken this already, so this has just proven my point. These things are cheap. Now, I didn't actually do that. That has happened live while we're recording this. Totally unexpected, but actually, it does illustrate my point entirely. If you buy cheap rubbish, well, you get cheap rubbish. So moving on to a slight evolution of the similar design. So again, we've still got that same clamp mount. This is with an iPhone, I think it's an iPhone 5. So it's a little bit better. So we've got a metal ball there for adjustment, and also now we've got metal arms which are a little bit better. And again, they're following that kind of Gorillo Pod tradition. So they're flexible, but not particularly. And as you can see, it kind of wants to flex back on itself. So for mounting on certain options and legs, table legs, that sort of thing, it is gonna be quite a tricky thing to do. So yeah, definitely an evolution, but still not perfect. Another option, which is a slightly more bulky option, but certainly does get the job done. This works in the same way. So that just twists into the thread on the top. And this is your kind of traditional tripod mount. So, yep, it's okay. Again, pretty plasticky. Doesn't give you the options or flexibility to actually mount to anything particular other than maybe on a desk or something like that. So if you want to put it on top of a monitor or maybe around a, a tree or a desk leg or a chair, whatever it is, yeah, this has got limited use, although it is a little bit stronger. So I was looking around recently. We are actually doing a video on how to use your iPhone as a webcam. And actually, I struggled in the video holding the camera. There was no real easy way of doing it. I didn't like using any of these purely because my iPhone, which is the iPhone XR, is a little bit on the big side. And actually trying to physically get it to fit inside here is somewhat of a strain, as you can tell by my voice there. So yeah, again, not ideal, and it does clamp the phone in a particularly awful way. So that had to go. So in order to rectify the situation and actually allow me to use my phone as I want to in a safe and secure manner on a multiple instances of mounting, so again, table legs, chairs, on top of a monitor, all that kind of stuff, along comes Joby's Gorillapod Mobile Mini. Now, I was actually surprised by this. 
I use a Gorillapod for my main camera, and when I actually received this in the post, I was a little bit shocked. And I was like, Kath, really? Did you expect it to be that small? She says, well, yeah, of course, it's for a mobile phone. And actually now after having it and using it a few times, I can totally understand it. So this thing is super portable, super lightweight, easily fits into like a shirt pocket, uh, jeans pocket, or into a carry bag. It doesn't take up a great deal of room and is very lightweight. But the beauty of this is the actual mounting mechanism and also it's got those patented Joby legs, which really do grip and are really, really easy to use. So first of all, let's take a look at the legs themselves. So the legs, as you'd expect, they do fold out almost completely flat. So if you're using it on a desk surface like this, really easy and they're very, very grippy. So they don't want to slide around. So if you accidentally nudge the desk or accidentally brush past it, it isn't going to move a great deal. So that is really good. And they're ultimately flexible as well. So they kind of almost bend round on themselves. So you can make up all kinds of weird shapes and combinations as you've probably seen from some of the B-roll already. So that is one point of it. Also as well, if you want to, you can actually use it as kind of like a selfie stick. So to give you a little bit more of an extension when you're using it, absolutely brilliant but the best thing of all is the elastic mount they've made for the phone so looking from the side you can see you've got two sections there top and bottom which are rubberized completely and there is a elasticated back so this means you can use phones which are anything between 56 and 91 millimeters so that's 2.2 inches to i think what, like three and a half 3.6 something along those lines so this is really easy to use and all you do is just stretch it around the phone so i'll show you now as a practical example so we've got our camera lens here in the top section. So all you do is put your phone into the top section and then stretch it around. And there you go, that is it. So we are pretty much ready to go. And because it's elastic and all of this is rubberized, it's not gonna damage the finish on your phone if you've got a nice phone and you don't use a case on it. Or even if you do use a case, then it does fit really nicely and it holds it really snugly. As you can see, there's a little bit of wobble there, but that's just taken up the kind of the uh, the flex, I guess you would call it, and actually uses it as a form of stabilization. So if you're actually walking along with this, the rubber is actually going to dampen what the phone is doing. So not only have you got your electronic image stabilization, you've also got a little bit of practical stabilization from the rubber or elastic straps there, which is absolutely brilliant. Another cool feature is because of the way that it mounts, it doesn't obstruct the screen in any way, shape or form. So if you're doing pieces to camera and you're actually looking at yourself in the actual viewfinder there or the screen as it is, then you've got nothing blocking the way. Also as well for things like tap to focus. So you can tap anywhere on the screen and it's not obstructed at all. Absolutely fantastic. I really, really do like this design. And again, if you're using this as a, a webcam, which we'll be doing in a follow-up video to this, then you can just open up the legs a little bit, slot that over the top of your monitor, and you can either have it facing you with the rear facing camera, or you can have it with the front facing camera and have it so you can see what's actually on screen as well at the same time for kind of Zoom calls, Skype, that kind of thing. Absolutely brilliant. No distractions at all across the screen, no real obstructions on the back, which maybe could press on a button or obscure the lens or the LED, that kind of thing. Quite often with some of the wider ones, if you put the LED light on, it's obstructed slightly so the lighting looks a bit odd. But this actually, for me, I think works fantastically. So even on a desk, again, if you're doing close-up shots, so maybe you've got a camera, maybe you're doing like unboxings or something like I generally tend to do. So you can have your project there and you can get this really nice and up close, get it mounted in, press record, and it's awesome. You can have that real close focus. You don't have to worry about holding your camera and shaking, all that kind of stuff. And also if you want to, then you can move things on from the camera, all that kind of stuff, because you've got both your hands free. So for the sake of roundabout, 15 pounds here in the UK. I'll put some links in the video description so you can check out it for yourself. I think this is a really good option, even if it's just a supplementary thing that you keep in your camera bag or maybe just keep at your desk just in case you have to have a Skype call. And for those of us working from home at the moment or for those of you that are content creators, I think this is gonna be a really valuable option. And of course, in combination with the new software, which you can use for your iPhone to actually use it as a webcam in things like OBS and Zoom, etc., you can really up the quality of your production or your calls and also make sure that your camera is ultimately very stable, very secure, and not gonna fall off. So this has been the Joby Gorillapod Mobile Mini. Please do let us know what you think about it in the video description below. Uh, really interested to see what your thoughts are. Are you surprised how small it is and how compact it is? Is this something you'd use on your phone? And how big is your phone? Would it fit your phone? Let us know in the comments. Again, really interested to know your thoughts. But anyway, I think this is gonna wrap this one up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. 
Thanks for watching.